What's up? It's Vince with Team Op 7. Going to be installing the Redline Triple LED Brake Light Bar on my 2021 Colorado ZR2. Now the harness comes pre-wired for the 4-pin. However, we're going to be using the optional Op 7 Redline Dual 7-Pin Splitter. It can be easily found on their accessories page and it's going to make for a much cleaner install behind the bumper. Now in order to complete this install, I'll be using some items that weren't included in the box. Let's start with the wire cutters. We'll also need some wire strippers. Um, make sure that they have a crimper. I'm gonna be using T-tap instead of the piggyback. Here's a little quick disconnect for the T-tap. Don't forget your heat shrink tubing and a torch for the heat shrink tubing. And then we're gonna tie everything up neatly with some heavy duty zip ties. Before we stick that light bar on, let's make sure the surface is clean. I like to use Chemical Guy's Invisible Cleaner. And let's just go ahead and douse the entire area and wipe it down thoroughly. Here's a quick tip. These four metal dots that are really close to each other are found in the dead center of the light bar. So if you were wondering how do I align it, how do I make sure that it's perfectly centered, that's a great place to start. And here we go. Let's wipe down the underside of the tailgate with that adhesion promoting cloth. Now, remember that adhesion promoter is going to cause the 3M tape to stick immediately. So make sure that we get that alignment on point. You want to ensure that the bar is not obscured by neither the top of the bumper nor the bottom of the tailgate. Align those four center metal dots with the small hole under the tailgate that allows the harness for the rear view camera to pass through and you'll have it centered. Press down firmly and you're halfway done. Next, we're gonna go underneath the truck to remove that seven pin trailer harness from the back of the bumper. I've lowered and removed the spare tire for added room and convenience. Take the OP7 seven pin splitter and plug them into the male and female ends of the factory harness and factory plug. Next, we're going to feed those extremely long uh, white reverse wire, as well as that four pin harness that come off of the bar itself. Now just connect the four pin end of the splitter to the four pin end of the light bar harness and we'll be ready to move on to the reverse wire. Now we're ready to prep the reverse wire for the T-tap. Take the wire strippers and expose the bare wire. Now we can attach the quick disconnect, but don't forget the heat shrink tubing like I almost did. With the heat shrink and connector in place, Grab your strippers and crimp down that connector. Take your torch and make sure to keep that flame moving as you begin shrinking down that tubing. If you leave the flame on there for too long, you will melt the wire. Let's move on to the T-tap. Now you're going to find the red wire, which should be the center wire of the seven pin harness. These wires and the harness are arranged in like a circular shape and the reverse wire, which happens to be red, is found in the center. You may want to reference your owner's manual just to confirm. Tapping the reverse wire from the splitter instead of the one from the tail lamp will ensure that all of your factory wiring remains intact and unadulterated. Finally, neaten up all of those excessive wires and harnesses by tying them up with a zip tie. And there it is, the output from this LED brake light bar 
is like nothing else out there. Here's the left sequential blinker. The right sequential. Emergency hazards. And absolutely blinding reverse lights. And if you find yourself stranded on a deserted highway, you'll have peace of mind knowing that your hazards will be seen.